to the world as the Salad Bowl, also known as the Salinas Valley. To the people in LA, we are North. To the people in San Francisco, we are South. Right smack in the middle, best of both worlds. Don't forget about the Central Kelly. Anyway, folks, first and foremost, I'm not wearing my brace right now. I'm not driving, so yeah, and usually I wear it when it's a little sore. Not too bad today. It's a little sore, but not too bad. But anyhow, today we are going to talk about uh, Bun B of UGK, right, uh, uh, earlier, uh, last week, he was, uh, or this past week, he was, uh, he was in court, uh, testifying against the man that, uh, uh, went into his home in a home invasion and, uh, invaded his, you know, his privacy, right, um, uh, put a, put a, um, a, um, a weapon to his wife's head threatened her life. Uh, Bun B was in, um, I believe he said he was in the restroom or something like that. He heard the commotion. Uh, he came down with his weapon and, um, you know, managed to do whatever. There was an exchange in, in, um, in open fire, I guess, whatnot. Uh, uh, Bun B did chase him. And uh, ended up uh, uh, hitting him, you know, with his weapon, basically, you know, uh, injuring the 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 assailant, if you will, I guess, right? Uh, so he's testifying in court against him because he threatened his, uh, you know, he threatened to to, to you know uh, eliminate his wife. Uh, the man protected his home and his family. As it should be, you know. Um, of course, guys, let, let's get one thing straight. This is also, he also lives in Texas. So uh, things and laws change from state to state. You know, there's stuff that you can do in Texas that you cannot do, per se, in California. And so on and so forth, right? So anyhow, um, <clears throat> with that, guys, I mean, I saw I saw the, the the court thing and I was watching you know his wife breaking down in court and it's just like it's just you know as a human being as a father myself as a as a family man uh, it's a terrible thing to watch that happen that way and transpire that way uh, to see these people break down in in, in court you know um, and uh, it's just heartbreaking. You know, uh, you know, oftentimes we, it's easy to talk from the outside looking in. We, we tend to feel like, oh, well, you know, if it was me, I would have did this and this and that. You know what? I mean, look, we sit and watch sports on TV, be it <coughs> <coughs> Oh, man, excuse me. Sorry about that. Excuse me. See, we watch sports, say, boxing or football for that matter, right? And we sit here and criticize the players. Oh, you know, wrong play. And, oh, you didn't catch it. And da, 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 da. Or, hey, you know, you should have ducked. Or you should have did that. Get him like this, like this. Yeah, okay, yeah. Um, it's easy from the couch, <laughs> you know. Um, let me just put it to you like this and bring you guys up to speed on this. If we were really that good and it was that easy, we wouldn't be sitting on the couch watching them play or participate in any sport, right? So let's get that out the way. And I say that to say this. There was a, a long time ago, this was back in the 90s, I, I was I happened to be in a store, and uh, I went to, and it was a small store. It wasn't a, a, it wasn't a grocery store, none of that. It was in a small store out in Salinas. 
and I had my nephew with me, my nephew Eddie, shout out to Eddie Vega again, um, he must have been about four years old, four and a half, not even five, I don't think, at that time, and, um, so we're in the store, and, and with a friend of mine, and we go to the back of the store, where or it was an auto parts store, I'm not going to mention what it was, but anyhow, um, so we're standing in the back, you know, getting some, some car parts or something like that, I guess for the, for my mini truck or whatever, low rider stuff, and, um, <clears throat> And I hear a commotion, right? I hear a girl like screaming. I turned around, I glanced over, I glanced. And I saw like the guy kind of hugging the girl. And I said, oh, it's probably the guy that came and surprised his girlfriend or whatever. And I, you know, and I just kind of, uh, whatever. And I turned back around and I look and everybody's on the floor. And I was like, what the heck? What the heck? And, I, and, and, and I'm like, what's it? And see, so my nephew's over by some little uh, uh, machines where you put the quarter in, you get the, you know, m ms or whatever it was, you know, and he, so he's quite away from me, right, and I was like, why is everybody on the floor, and I turned around again, only to come face to face with the guy in the ski mask, and, uh, and a Beretta pointed right at me, say, he said, I said, get down, and I was like, oh, ding, like, you know, I, 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 I motioned my, my nephew to get over to me, and I, and I got on the floor, and I'm, and I'm holding him, right, I'm like, you know, I said, hey, man, you know, it's, it's you know, it's, it's robbing the store. My friend said, yeah, that's where we're on the floor. I, I, you know, I was like, okay, what, well, you know. Anyways, it, it was, a, it, it just, the moment was just different. I mean, it was just, we had to sit there and stay there even after the fact. And it was, um, we had to stay there for like three hours. So anyhow, um. After when the police arrived, we had to stay there for three hours and wait. You know, I mean, that was the unfortunate part. Unfortunate part was that they did rob that store. Uh, the fortunate thing was that nobody got hurt. So, with that, right? So, anyhow, after that, when we told some of our friends, uh, he, um, you know, a lot of the friends were like, man, if I would have been there, I would have said something. You know, I would have, you know, man, you know, that. Uh, n no, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. When it comes down to the real deal, it's just a different case, you know. Um, which leads me back into, you know, again, to the Bun B situation. Uh, people do not understand. None of us understand. We know the story. We didn't live it. You know, there's, there's a difference in that. And I'm a firm believer, firm believer, I repeat that, firm believer that you know the story, but you don't know until you live that life, you know, or you went through that with that with that person you may understand but you will never really fully empathize with that you know um because one thing is to tell the story and another thing is to go through the through the emotion you know that w during that period of time but anyhow with that uh I i'll say this um one thing that i found really really like sickening was to see people go on there saying, oh, you know, he's a snitch, you know, and he's snitching and this and this and that. Hey, listen, man, the guy went into into Bum B's house. Bum B being from UGK, Pimp C, all that. You guys know that. See, so he's he's an old rapper, right? Um, Man, you know what? Uh, We live in a, in a time now where 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 people just, uh, you know, you just want to, everything, want to label everything, want to label everything just bad, just like, oh, you know, a lot of these people going on these, on these comments and stuff throughout social media, you are not living that life, you don't live that lifestyle, right, but you're going by it, and we can be anything we want on social media, that's just a, a fact, you know, but, uh, just just to see that is sickening because a lot of you that are doing that again don't live that life and are probably probably living at home you know or our family men or our whatever you have a nine to five maybe you have a great life you know you are not going to jeopardize your life over something like that you know so don't go in there saying oh he's a snitch and talking like you like you have this this, uh, you know, like, it's the way to be. We throw the term, the term snitch very loose now. There's a difference between being a snitch and doing the right thing. Of course, 
I understand there are politics and people in, 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 in who are living that life, and I understand that. Much respect to anybody. I mean, I, I'm not saying anything about that part. What I'm saying is that those who don't live that lifestyle shouldn't be saying anything like that at all, period, point blank. There's a difference. And I'm pretty sure that a lot of people who, who do live that life do understand that side of it. You know, it's the people who don't who are cheerleading that along. That's that's my that's my point. So, um, hey, listen, the the man defended himself, defended his home, defended his family. He has every right to 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 do what he's doing. He, I mean, come on, what you gonna do? Say no? I don't know. It wasn't him or whatnot. Whatever the situation was. Um, if, if myself and somebody else commits a crime, right, we say, I say, hey, listen, let's do this and this and this and that, and we go and commit this crime and get caught, and I go and I say, well, you know, it was his idea, man, you know, hey, you know, da, 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 I'm being a snitch, or vice versa, if he does that to me, whichever way it goes, right, um, that's a whole different story. When somebody invades your home, and they come into your house and they threaten, you know, with a weapon to uh, eliminate your family. You enter the whole other realm now. You, you've come into a whole other realm. And the thing that, the thing that I find, this is just me though. If something like that's happening or something like that happened, I mean, I'm not the kind of guy that would be like, well, you know what? Let me handle it. I'll take care of it. I'm not going to say nothing to the to the law enforcement. You know, I'm not going to say nothing to law enforcement. I'm going to take care of it. We're going to take care of this. Okay. But I'm protecting my family. Meaning I have that much love and respect for them. I love them that much and respect them. So at this, by that same token, why would I jeopardize my freedom? You see what I'm saying? And why would I jeopardize my freedom and not do the right thing, you know? That's just food for thought for y'all. I just thought I'd throw it out there. Don't follow these trends, guys. Don't follow these trends of these these things because at the end of the day, look, at, look, at the end of the day, a lot of you are like, oh, yeah, you know, whoa, 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 whoa. But at the end of the day, guess what? You're the one they're after because at the, at, the, at the end of it all, Maybe you said something you shouldn't have said. Maybe you were wrongfully accused of something. And guess what? Now you're now you're out of that of that uh, life, and your life is jeopardized now. You know. So to stand for something that 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 you strongly feel about and, and so on and so forth, a respect, much respect to you, but understand the consequences that come with it. You know, but to label somebody else a snitch because they're doing the right thing and they are what you would consider a civilian. And I don't want to hear about, oh, well, hey, you know, this and that. There is no code to being a man to protect his family. There is no code. There are no rules to that. You know, the guy's lucky he, he didn't, that Bun B did not eliminate him to begin with. There'd be no witnesses. There'd be nobody to say this is what happened other than Bun B and his wife. You know. But, I mean, with that, guys, I mean, hey, I'm just throwing it out there like that. But anyways, guys, that's all I wanted to get across to you guys. And and you know what? Hey, love and respect to, to all, guys. Don't, don't, don't fall into that, uh, into, that, into that realm of stuff. You know, th think things over and, 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 and understand what people are going through at the end of the day. You see these people in, in the rap videos and, and so on and so forth. At the end of the human beings, just like anybody else. And, and they take action just like anybody else. They fear, they feel, and they, they get emotional just like anybody else would in, in those kind of situations. But again, if you weren't there, you really don't know. With that, this is Two-Face Entertainment Podcast. I am your host, Fred Segura, signing out.
Getting plenty of action, the home of the G's and pimps, I love it with a passion Throw it up, it's California, I ate Where the sun lays to rest like every day The home of the color rag, swap meets and bangers Chuck Taters, Lolo's and them real dope slangers This is reality, it's where I stay Along the Pacific in the state of CA Golden State, from Frisco to Compton And back to Central Cali where the party keeps rocking It's a California state of mind And you can't be mad, that's just how we rock Golden State I finally understand it I'm hiding in the trees like a male praying mantis Searching for my brain God please come and bless me Help relieve my stress so I don't worry about death Never said I was leaving but dreaming on like Stephen Fallen angel, I'm Zeppelin, not ready for heaven So please tell me, is there another way? So I can look up in the sky and say thank you for these better days One, two, baby's coming for you Three, four, better lock your doors Five, six, hit a pop with the twist Seven, eight, please don't hate One, two, baby's coming for you